NASA makes impossible discovery with Voyager after 45 years in space. In 1977, NASA launched two spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, on a mission to explore the outer reaches of our solar system. 45 years later, the Voyagers are still going strong, and what they've discovered is horrifying. As the Voyagers journeyed further and further from Earth, they encountered several fascinating objects, including Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. But what they found beyond the edge of our solar system genuinely shocked scientists. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video, in which we'll tell you about a shocking discovery that NASA made. Let's get started. In 2012, Voyager 1 entered a region of space known as the Hilo Sheaf, where the solar wind slows down and eventually stops altogether. There, the spacecraft detected a sudden and dramatic increase in cosmic radiation, indicating that it had entered a completely new and unknown region of space. But that's not all. As the Voyager continued its journey, it also detected a strange and inexplicable hum coming from deep within this new region. NASA's Voyager 2 is the second spacecraft to launch toward interstellar space. The craft was launched in 1977 along with its twin Voyager 1. Both were on their way to explore our solar system's outer limits when they separated from Earth's orbit and began traveling in opposite directions. After 45 years in space, Voyager 2 has crossed into interstellar space and is still sending back data. NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft has passed into interstellar space. Voyager 2 is a NASA spacecraft launched in 1977 and has now traveled 40 years and 8.3 billion miles, 13 billion kilometers, into space. It is currently traveling through the helosphere, or helosphere bubble, a region of charged particles surrounding our sun, which extends outwards from our solar system and beyond. Voyager 2 has been at this location for about nine years. However, today's announcement marks its passage into interstellar space, where it will continue drifting for another 50 years until it reaches Alpha Centauri, which is the closest star system. For decades, scientists have been following the spacecraft's trajectory, but only able to confirm its transition into interstellar space recently. To do so, scientists studied the particles surrounding Voyager 2 and compared them with previous measurements taken when the probe was still in our solar system. Voyager 2 is now the only spacecraft that has traveled through and beyond the helosphere. It will continue transmitting data from its instruments until 2025, when it will reach interstellar space. The craft was launched in 1977, along with its twin Voyager 1. The Voyager spacecrafts were launched on September 5, 1977 by NASA. They were the first craft to enter interstellar space, and their mission lasted until 1990. Voyager 1 was launched with a plaque that said to boldly go where no one has gone before. But it didn't go far enough for a visitor from space. The plaque didn't survive its journey through space because it got stuck in front of the camera lens. The twin crafts are currently traveling in opposite directions. Voyager 1 is the first spacecraft to leave our solar system, while Voyager 2 is still in the outer reaches of our solar system. When a craft begins to leave the helosphere, the bubble of charged particles that extends outwards from our sun, they get hit by radiation hitting the outer limits. The Voyagers have been traveling through space for over four decades. They've passed through the helosphere and are entering interstellar space. When Voyager 1 left Earth in 1977, it traveled at about 5% of its current speed. By comparison, Voyager 2 travels faster than any other human-made object, excluding satellites. Their speed is increasing by 2 miles per second every day, enough to make them cross from our solar system into interstellar space within 75 years. This event is called surfing through the magnetic highway. The solar wind is a stream of charged particles that flow outward from the sun. The sun's magnetic field exerts pressure on the stream, creating an obstacle course in front of the helosphere called a bow shock. This event was first discovered by Voyager 1 in 1974. But in 2013, Voyager 2 saw similar activity coming from opposite directions, one coming toward our planet and another heading away. Now we know exactly why this happens. Earth's magnetic field acts as a barrier for low-energy particles coming from interstellar space, the realm beyond our solar system. Both Voyager 1 and 2 have already made several discoveries about our galaxy. For example, Voyager 1 discovered Jupiter has rings and volcanoes on Io. 
its most volcanic moon. Voyager 2 also discovered an active magnetic field around Neptune, something we hadn't seen before in any other solar system body. Voyager 2 discovered Saturn also has rings and found Uranus magnetic field is oddly skewed concerning the planet's spin axis. It also found Neptune is a windy planet, with supersonic winds blowing up to 700 miles per hour. The NASA space probe took some of the most detailed images of these faraway worlds and their moons. These photos helped our scientists learn more about our solar system by determining what these planets are composed of, how they formed, and what they look like from afar. Voyager 2 is still in better shape than NASA anticipated it would be after this much time in space. NASA hopes it will continue to collect data for some time longer. Voyager 2 launched on September 5, 1977 and ended its mission with a crash landing on Neptune's moon Titan in 1989. The spacecraft has traveled 14 billion miles from Earth, which is twice as far as any spacecraft has ever traveled before or since. But Voyager probes are still operational after decades in deep space. Voyager 1 is still sending back data about our solar system, including discoveries that have been made since it launched in 1977. The probe has already made several interesting discoveries about our galaxy including an increase in air pressure at Mars as opposed to Earth's atmosphere, which was first discovered by Ulysses. The existence of hydrogen on Saturn's moon Titan, the first time anyone had seen it. The break is coming up in August, and the Voyager Science Steering Group will choose what to do next. The engineering team has devised inventive ways to manage the power budget so that both missions can continue to conduct as much science as possible for as long as possible, even while moving at the speed of light. The Voyager spacecraft's utility has greatly surpassed astronomers' predictions. It is expected to enter interstellar space very soon, though it will take another 300 years for it to reach the end of our solar system. However, NASA has not decided to cancel the mission, and both probes are still returning original scientific data. We must also emphasize how deeply actual and necessary the science conducted by the spacecraft has been and continues to be. The image of Earth captured by Voyager 1 in 1990, when it was 3.7 billion miles from the Sun, helped to highlight how fleeting and delicate our entire existence is. From the conflicts of ancient civilizations, to our petty political disputes, and the exploitation of the planet's ecosystem to the present, it was all there in a microscopic blue speck amid a vast, seemingly uncaring dark world. Going into interstellar space is an incredible achievement, but it's proof that we can find new things with our technology. Voyager 1 and 2 are still sending back data, and they will continue to do so for years to come as they explore the galaxy around us. That was it for today's video. Everyone, have a great day and see you in the next one.